everyone, it's good to have you here. My name is Sheila Mirunji. I'm a Christian female and a Ugandan. Welcome. I had taken a while without recording because I had some issues to sort, but I'm here. And yes, I am happy that we get to do this. I'm going to discuss a topic that's common to most of us or to people who go into adulthood. And that topic is about moving, relocating. I think we do find ourselves relocating to different districts, to different cities, to different towns, to different states because of numerous reasons. Reasons could be uh, maybe we've gotten a new job in that area or maybe we are married in that area or maybe we, we just wanted a change of scenery, a change of environment, a change of opportunities, a change of business environment, a change of um, the market. Yeah, so we find ourselves in new areas and we have to make it. So we have to fight and thrive in those new areas. But how do we make sure we are thriving? How do we make sure we are happy? How do we make sure we are living fulfilled lives in those new areas? That's what we are going to discuss today. And my topic number one is as a Christian, the Bible tells us that we should not give up the habit of meeting together. Yes, so even as we leave our home churches, even as we leave our home, our home cells or fellowships, our families, we have to be making sure we are planted into a local church, a church that's Bible-believing and Bible-based. Why? That will set us up with people that have the same value system as we do, that will, that will put us in circles of people that speak positivity, that speak life, people that encourage us, people that help us pray, people that help us uh, uh, thrive in Christianity, people that keep us accountable in different spheres of life. So, yes, I think you want to do that. I would want to do that. First thing, look for these believers and fellowship with them and be there consistently because no one will trust you if you're not consistent. No one will actually um, desire to know who you are if they see you here one in a month. Uh, once and then you appear after eight months yeah they they won't take it seriously but we have to be making sure we are going to church and celebrating life and Christ together with a group of believers that we can pray with that can hold us accountable that can help us when we are sick when we need help when we need support in any way Yes, so that's the very first thing I would recommend. The next one, I would say even right before you make the move, we have to be praying that God will bring his people into our lives. There are those people that can come straight from heaven. They are God-ordained people. Yes, so we have to be praying that God will direct his people into our lives, that God will direct people to our way, into our path, that we get to meet them. Those ones that are straight from God will love us for who we are. They won't love us for any exterior uh, quality, for any, for beauty, for, for anything. They will come with pure intentions. Yes, so we have to be praying that God brings the right people into our lives and he gives us the grace to actually let those people into our lives. My point number three is that we have to be developing our skills and talents. Um, we have different talents, we have different skills, and the more we hone them, the more we practice, the more we get better at them. The more we are sitting back and thinking, ah, I will remember, that's something I've done since childhood. I, we are losing, we are slowly, uh, losing track yes we are we are declining in these skills so we want to be making sure we are practicing our is it piano skills is it, is it guitar skills is it art is it painting is it um interior design is it singing worship is it um 
running, um, athletics, soccer, what is that skill that you have that you can develop? Yes, we have to be going out, finding the spaces that are designated for this particular uh, talent and make sure we are practicing those skills. Yeah, that will be a very good useful, useful use of our time and also a fun time because when we are doing what we love, it's always fun. Uh, my point number four is that we have to be making sure that we are... I think it's very easy to think that now that we've made the big move and moved out of our um, locality, out of our parents' uh, village or a place where we grew up from, we are going to forget uh, our friends or our fellowship friends or our home cell people. Uh, but my point is, this is my point that we should be making sure we are not losing touch uh, with them. We have to be communicating with them as well. We have to be keeping the communication going with them. Uh, yeah, especially now in, in relation for a job. A job can end. It could be contract based and then it ends so if we are going back to that same locality we are going to it's going to be weird yeah people won't be understanding why we we detach from them and then all of a sudden we want to reconnect so we want to be making sure that we are uh, nurturing those friendships as well we are watering them we are keeping in touch with them is there a wedding have to be going and attending the, the wedding is there an introduction is there a party is there a baby shower bride whatever bridal shower yeah that way we are keeping connected to our friends but as well we are nurturing friendships here yeah the other thing is we have to be making sure we are welcoming to people who want to be friends with us in these new areas yeah let us uh, we have to be making sure we are welcoming them we are we are hospitable yeah because people want to be around people who are welcoming they want to be around people who are polite so if we aren't polite we are pushing people away and as a result we are going to be bored because we don't have anyone to talk to we don't have anyone to hang out with so yeah.